Hello. Give me one second. Hello. Um, this is this war of mine. Um, one of my one of my favourite favourite games from quite a while ago, actually, a couple of years ago now. Um, it's 2014. Um, I only played this really in 2017, a couple of years later. But um, I really do value it as a as an experience in uh, talking about warfare and the effects it has on people. I'm always a big fan of experiences like this that really push you to actually think about things in a different way. Um, and in modern society, where we've got you know things like you know uh, military shooters and um, you know borderlands and things that things that make light of war and uh, make it cool, um, it's very very rare to have a game that actually does things like this and makes you think about it in a tragic human way. And um, hopefully, as we play through it, we're gonna see the tragic human way as we go along. Um, it is made by people um, who have lived through similar things. Um, um, I'm not making any sort of big claims about them and that they've lived through war or anything because I don't know that much about them but I do know that the developers' faces are in the game so when you select people to be in your party they are in the game themselves. Um, and a few of them would have from what I've seen at the studio, a few of them would have been around uh, certain war-torn countries, or at least their parents would have, and, the, uh, and definitely their grandparents. So in, in, in Eastern Europe, you know, these are communities that have um, grown up around civil war. I mean, especially uh, people, you know, Serbia and uh, Montenegro and, um, and places like that, Kosovo, uh, Bosnia. These are all places that have been torn apart by warfare, um, which is tragic. Absolutely tragic, because um, most of the warfare that is going on in places like that is, is, is politically motivated rather than anything else. So, ah, uh -uh, no, no, it's done that thing again where it tries to. Do not swap the perspective. No, stop doing that. All right, one second, guys. One second. Need to get this sorted out because. And if it if it does this again, as in swaps the perspective around, then I'm pretty much screwed. Um, there we go. Uh, for some reason, the game if you alt tab out, the game likes to like swap the perspective so it it, it doesn't fit the window. And in doing that, um, it means that the game doesn't look good on. Well, I say the game doesn't look good. You can't actually see the game very well. So hopefully this works. Give it another try. We're going with Pavel, Bruno, and Marco. Okay. And these, again, these are all developers of the game. Which is pretty cool. Day one. So this is a city under siege in Eastern Europe. How long has the siege lasted? It's hard to say when every day is a struggle for survival. The city is, a cr is crawling with snipers. Shelling is ordinary business almost every night. Phones don't work, there is a shortage of food and meds, and people are left homeless. Bruno and Marco have always been good friends, so when the war broke out they decided to stick together. 
They met Pavel while scavenging for supplies. He used to be Pog uh, Pogorin's star football player. Now he's just another homeless victim of war. So they teamed up, hoping for the best. So, in this group, um, Bruno is the best cook. Uh, Pavel is the uh, is a fast runner. And the best scavenger is Marco. Uh, time does go down in this corner here, so you have to watch it. Um, in fact, I'm going to have you not build anything yet because everything that you need is, is technically in the house when you first start off. Technically. Uh, grab all that. Grab all that. We need wood. We definitely need wood. Give that let's go in there. Grab all the wood, excellent. Um, this is like the cool bit of the game as well, where it doesn't really hit you with too much stuff, but as the game goes on it gets brutal. And it will get brutal as we go as we go along and um, things get worse and worse. Um, I'm accepting all that though. You know, things are going to get bad. I'm just telling you now, things are going to get terrible. Things are not going to work well. Uh, people are going to die and it's not going to be great. But that's sort of the point. That's sort of the point of the game is that, you know, awful things happen. And it's, it's, it's terrible. But awful things do happen. We need shovels to get rid of this. But unfortunately, we don't have any at the moment, which is fair enough. There's nothing in there. Gonna be locked. I think it's gonna be locked, isn't it? Oh no, it's not. Cool. Okay. Two of them can't work this at once, which I think is a bit silly. Um, but I think that's more limitations in the game what I actually want you to do, which is fair enough. To be honest with you. The game's mechanics will become more eventual. Um, sorry, will become more evident as we carry on. You can't get that, can you? Oh, no, you can. Um, you know, people do get depressed and they get um, you're very down. So they can't do very much. You know, it, it, it does get like that. It gets it does, gets terrible as the game goes on. Um, especially if you need to do bad things to people. Because it does happen. Sometimes you need to do bad things to people in this game. To, to get what you need. Uh, to survive. Um, and people don't do that without remorse. It covers the psychological effect of warfare as well as the physical effect of warfare. Which I really like. Uh, it doesn't um, make it... It doesn't aggrandise it in any way. You know, The game is fun. Which I, which I think is, is really cool. Um, but at the end of the day, it also doesn't... Um, it doesn't try to aggrandize anything. It, it, it tells you straight away when you know things aren't very good. Okay, so we need to make a bed. And we need to place the bed. Um, do you know what? I'm going to place it there. Maybe. I don't know. Where's the best place to put this bed? I'm going to have the workshop downstairs where we build stuff. So the bed's probably going to be better off. Um, mm, can I go up here? No. I can go there. Do you want it there though? It's the thing. No, no, we'll put it down here. I think it's the best place for it, so we'll put it there. You make that. 
We need at least two beds. Um, because people are going to be needing somewhere to sleep. Bed. Excellent. Why don't you make another one? We're going to need at least two. Make another one of those. So our supplies go. Um, this is only, this isn't the full game by the way. This is like 25% well, of the game is this. Um, the main part of the game is scavenging, which comes a bit later on, which means which where, where things can go very, very, very wrong. Can we make a heater yet? We can. Let's make the simple heater. What I like about the heater is, it doesn't really matter where it goes. It just works, which I really like. Um, okay, that's locked as well. I think we've pretty much done everything. We can't get into this room, I don't think. Let's get some fuel in the fire then. You can go to bed because you're sick. Uh, winter does come on in this game. Actually, we won't use that yet because it's 25 already. And that's the day done. So if you're not quick about it, I think this can go very, very badly for you. But uh, what have we got in terms of things? Right, we basically need everything at the moment. We'll end the day. You need to keep people entertained as well, of course. So it's not as if. Uh... So this is the city. It's Pogromen, or I think it's called Pogromen, anyway. Um, and this is where we're going to be figuring out where we want to go and what we want to do. Uh, new places will open up as the game progresses. Uh, but this is a ruined block of flats. And this is our shelter down here. Ruined block of flats. This block of flats uh, has seen some heavy fighting. Most people have, have fled the area before the Viceni rebels clashed there with the military. The battle is over now, and there should be many things that are because People were leaving in a rush. Okay. We will go there. And we will go there with our best scavenger, even though he's slightly wounded. But there shouldn't be any combat there. Which is good. And... These two are going to sleep, because I'm, I'm hoping that it won't immediately raid us straight away, because people can raid you um, in this game, which is which sucks. Huge. Um, can you get two people scavenging? No, you can only get one person scavenging. Okay. And so when you take stuff with you, we're not going to, because we're just going to go and scavenge. Again, leaving them both in bed, because I'm hoping the first night it won't raid you. I'm hoping, anyway. Um... Obviously, you give off noise as you're doing this, so people can be living here. Uh, but normally, the game will warn you if there's danger anywhere. Because you live in this area, so you would know pretty much if there's going to be danger. Close. The baby carriage isn't empty. A few objects lie scattered inside. A rattle, a smiling red crab. Well worn by baby teeth. A feeding bottle half full of, conge of a congealed mass that was probably baby formula. Somebody must have left it in a terrible rush or maybe didn't need them anymore. Oh, that's very dark. Very, very dark. We've got three books already, which we do need. You can look through doors and things, but I don't really see the point at the moment. Um... Okay, we'll leave 
stuff now. I think that's all we're going to need to do tonight. We can just get back. That worked. Marco's back, went out, King Street back. Okay, we got some food. You know, we don't need too much. Hopefully we weren't raided. Plenty of fine stuff. What a night. Nice. Yeah, good. The night was calm. Excellent. So let's get building some stuff. Um, you, my friend. You can make me a stove. And the stove is going to go... that. And you are going to go to bed. We don't have water at the moment, which sucks. for a workbench, okay. Mm -hmm. Don't do that, because we don't want to get rid of our books. See, he, <laughs> he, was, he was reading a book before, I could have just told him to burn it. <laughs> Which would have been quite funny. Um, but I didn't. One thing they could have done with this game is have a bit of a radiant AI where the the people actually do stuff, you know, rather than um. Okay, that'll do for now. Go to bed. Cool. All is quiet, which is good. Um, we can't open anything yet because we need tools, and to get tools we need wood, because we need to build a um, thing down here. So we'll end the day there. So when you know what you're doing, uh, the, the, the start of the game goes past really, really quickly. We're going to scavenge this place again, because we didn't scavenge it properly last time. Uh, we're going to scavenge... You're going to guard. You're going to sleep. There's some food, some med, lots of materials, some parts. Let's head there again. Because we know there's no danger here. So we And we didn't do any of the upper floors. So we want to get everything out of there first. Where there's no danger before we start going into other places that may have some danger in them. And some food as well. Now we need a, we need a, a saw to get into there, which we don't have. Grab all those. We're literally finished. <laughs> because we need saws to get into here. 
And we don't have saws yet. So let's run for the exit. Nice and easy. It's not as easy as this as we go on, trust me. It gets worse and worse and worse as things go on. That. I got a really good haul. Look what I got. Yeah, you hardly you were only gone for like twenty minutes. We even raided. I didn't get anything, but Favel got slightly wounded. People came in the night and raided us. Okay. First thing we gotta do to stop that, uh, Pavel, what you gotta do, mate, is um, eat this. What you're gonna do is. Um, I'm just going to upgrade this first. Yep. make anything yet, that's fine. Um, yeah, you do need to sleep enough, so you go down there and sleep. Uh, Bruno is our houseman, okay? So he stays in quite a lot because he's a good cook. Uh, doesn't need to do any much else, but he's a good cook, so he's going to be our domestic domestic man. Um, we need one of these, a metal workshop. And a metal workshop's going to go down here. We are lucky it's not cold in here, but we don't need to put the fire on yet. We don't need to waste fuel. 20 degrees is just fine. It's not great, but... Aha. We have a trader at the door. Okay, what do we need? Um, we need water. We definitely have some water. Um, it's quite common. Okay. Um, we'll have ammunition for firearms, why not? Uh, the point is, we don't actually have that much to give you. Um, we'll give you the bandage, because there's only one bandage, you know? Um, that's fine. That'll do. See you later. Um, so we've got some more stuff there, which is good. Maybe we can start boarding up the house. If we can do that, I'll be very happy. Uh, no, not in there. Okay, where's the boards? Need a little bit more wood, that's fine, though. It's not a big deal. It's not a huge deal. And Bruno's complaining, complaining that we ran out of cigarettes, because he will do that. He likes to smell, he likes having a smoke. Uh, which is annoying, but that's what it is. Who's hungry? You're hungry and tired. Okay. Yeah, they won't do anything unless you tell them to, which is annoying. 
I'd love to just leave the food there, and it says, oh, it gives you like a status report, like, oh, um, Pavel ate, or Marco ate some hot food, so you need to know, so you know you've got to make some hot food. Just think, you know, just so you can get things in place, you didn't have to tell them to do everything, but I think that's the main thing, the reason why they, they want you to tell them to do everything, is so you don't miss out on any of the human drama, because they can argue and fight and get annoyed with each other, so... for now. Bruno's a happy boy. If not, just chill out. Everyone's fine, actually. One, two, only he's slightly wounded. So, I guess we'll leave it for now. We're doing quite well. You're going to scavenge again tonight. You're going to sleep, okay. And you're going to guard. We need some food. Some food. That's not good. It's been inhabited by homeless since before the war. Uh, they took. They've been struggling. Lack of food. Might not have survived the recent shortages. They shouldn't be a threat, and we could find some useful things there. Okay. Um, before the war, you could have your car repaired at the garage. It was a decent family business, run by an impulsive son and his elderly father. If they still live there, they might be willing to trade with us. Alternatively, we might find lots of useful parts there, maybe even some food. Okay. This might be bad if we... Um, if they're still there. They probably are still around, mate. I'm telling you now. The game will not let you... No more hiding than meat in heaven. Oh, so... In a weird way, I hope that means that they're, <laughs> that they're dead. Because <laughs> it means that um, not only do we get to ransack this place, but we can do it guilt-free. Which is a big thing in this game. Um... People can look really guilty and feeling really bad and stuff. We, all we need is food now. That's all we need is food. We don't need anything else. Oh shit. You need meds for your father. Um, no, I don't have any, sorry. Um, you got loads of stuff, man, but I don't have anything, sorry. If I find some, then I'll uh, I'll definitely trade them with you. I think we've got enough of that stuff. They don't need any of that. No, nope, don't need any of that either. We don't need any of that either. Okay. We need food, man. I'll trade them for some food. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'll deal with that, that's fine. We just got that from upstairs in his house, so <laughs> we'll take that. What's in our backpack? Loads of water, good. Okay. for the night, I think. We don't have any food, but we don't want people getting depressed either, so I don't want to steal from these guys just yet. Maybe I can come back with some meds or bandages or something. 
but we need food desperately. That's another thing, is that the places that are on the map don't spawn in the same way every single time. So sometimes places with lots of food will spawn, but then this time they haven't. They really haven't a lot at all, which is not good. Go down here. Just leave that off. Right now, we're boarding things up, so we should be. A little bit more secure now. There we go. No, don't burn the bloody books. No food isn't good. I'm gonna have to get some food tonight. Right. You're going to scavenge again. You're both going to sleep because um, because we're all hungry. Lots of food in ruined villa. That's good. That's good. They say pe some people live here against all odds. They must have supplies stocked, like canned food and possibly bandages and medicines. But they won't want to trade. If we're desperate, we could try to steal from them. We can steal from those two places. Yeah, we need food, so. And we can't get it anywhere else. Whoa! Huge amounts of food, huge amounts of materials, huge amounts of tools. Do you know what? They've got huge amounts of stuff. Let's go there. Let's just go. I'm, I'm, I'm not bothered about that. They've, they're, they're hoarding like tons of stuff. So hopefully if we steal stuff and we don't kill them, or we don't we don't like take enough that they're gonna be like, oh my god, we got nothing. Then you know. Hey man, no, I don't have any meds, sorry. It's this intruder again. Right, man. We're gonna need all this. Nah, there's not tons, though. You're kidding me, right? Okay, just get out. Get get out. Oh, for fuck's sake! Seriously. So, they've got huge amounts of stuff, and they won't... Do you know what? I'm going to kill them all. You wait until I get a gun. You just fucking wait till I get a gun. I bet we've been raided. He's lethally wounded. He's going to die. Like, there's, no, there's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do. It is brutal, but... You 
You got bandages, did you say? You don't have any bandages. You don't have any bandages. What the fuck are you talking about? Is he recovering? He is recovering. Okay. Well, nothing we can do to end the day. Nothing we can do. We can't go back there. Yeah. Um. You're gonna have to scavenge. You're gonna guard. I'm gonna have to go to this this old person's house. We've got to. Like I tried to get around it, but we've got to. Excellent. We're saved. We're saved. We're saved. Okay. We're saved. We're good. How? He didn't. I don't get. I don't get this. I don't get this at all. I don't get this at all. Why? Why? Why did he just die? Why did he? This is what I mean about this. Sometimes I just don't. I don't understand that at, at all. We just get to the night. Come on. Hurry up. Yeah. Fine. Whatever, go straight back there again. Why did he die? I don't understand. Like like you said, hit him, and then he just immediately died. Didn't have a weapon or anything. Yeah, and immediately they know we're here. Great, yeah. Yeah, you know what? We'll start again. Um I'm I'm this is this is ridiculous. Like why It doesn't spawn with any any um any food or anything like that, and then immediately then immediately just kills you, like, without even... This is a slippery slope, though, with games like this. 
is that you need... If you're going to have mechanics in the game that make it really, really, really difficult and really, really brutal, you need to be fair. You need to be fair. You know, it didn't even say caution advised on that. And it just it arbitrarily just killed him without even... He didn't have a weapon or anything, just hit him once and he died. So, I'm not happy with that at all. I don't... I'm not really sure... Not really sure where it gets off doing that. I re I'm really not. It's quite upsetting that, to be honest with you, because I was having fun there. And and this is this is the thing though, isn't it? I mean, I'm just. I don't know. I don't understand if it had warned me first. Oh, do you want to do that? Because this could happen. So, no warning whatsoever. You know. The floaty camera as well, I don't like. I really don't like that. Yeah, it makes you click on wrong things all the time. Let's see. Make a few beds, eh? over here again. So I'd love for the game to like let me get to a point where you know, d drama stuff does happen, but it, it still lets you, you know what I mean, like you've got a chance. In that one we just did, we were dead, we were dead in the water, there's nothing we can do. Um, you know, we're, we're literally just done. And I, I don't, I think sometimes games like this do, do get a bit of, get a bit overzealous with the old, um, consequences. It really does. Because uh, I think that was overly harsh. Very overly harsh. Like, I'd expect that, that I, if Pavel came away with an injury or something, that's fine. Because it looked like you know, they, they didn't have any weapons on them. For him to be hit once and he immediately dies and lose all that stuff and everyone's starving and the other guy's about, Marco's about to die because he got shot the other night. Yeah, bit unfair bit unfair, to be honest. So apologies, but it's just the way the cookie crumbles. I mean, we need a stove more than we need heat right now. So, stove can go up here. I think after fun of the game, what I saw on the, on the reviews was the what spawn you get, because if you get really good stuff coming up where you can get food and stuff, then you're set for a little while. But it is trial and error, and if they ever do make a sequel to it, that they need to take that into account. Yes, I know you're trying to make a point about warfare and stuff, and it's a very good point to make, but, but, you need to allow us to play to find those like, heartbreaking moments and stuff, because if you don't, then it, at the end of the day, it's just you know, a glutton for punishment, isn't it? It's, what's the point? We're doing really well last time as well. We boarded everything up. We were doing so so well. What a shame. Uh, you're slightly sick, so you can go in there. We're a skill scavenger. We're going to leave it for the day. Pretty much all done. We're not going to try and get rid of all this stuff yet. We're going to wait until we've got a spade to do that. The night. Lucid gas station. This is a good one. Yeah, th this this was very first places people looted while fleeing the city. There have been an hour, have been a few hour long ceasefire. There had been a few hour long ceasefire intended to clean the whole area from civilians, but it was broken. Many people died. Though neither side claimed responsibility to this day. Despite heavy shelling from the whole of the whole district. The station is, a, is in surprisingly decent shape. It might have been looted, but it might have some stuff worth checking out. Okay, cool. So our best scavenger is going. 
slightly sick, we'll guard. Lose the gas station. Right, let's do it this time. Nice. Yeah. It's going to take us a while to break through this because we don't have a, um, a shovel. Once we get through, we've got a few things to take. And we've got a ladder going downstairs, it looks like. See, I'd love to get to the part of the game where those meaty decisions come in, where you're like, do we kill these people, or do we, you know... Um, that's the message that this game wants to send, is that... Yeah, as somebody in war, you know, you've got to make some decisions that are not good, you know? Um, but it does seem to shoot itself in the foot, no pun intended. By having you, you know, immediately, like, like it kicks you in the balls over and over and over and over again. Speed up time button would be nice as well, just in case you know you're on your own and you've got to do stuff like this. Grab all those. Some food would be nice. You said you had lots of food, so. for now. Full medicines, yeah, we need that. That is a rat. I should have known last time it was going to be bad when um, my first few scavengers went really well, really quickly. Uh. Just looking to see if there's any... This poor man had been caught by the shelling. What was he doing here? Alright, there's a dead guy here. Okay. Maybe he was hiding some food. No, he was hiding some wood. Come on. Powder, no, we don't really need that right now. This is gonna be stuff, isn't it? We're not gonna need any of this. Yeah, we're not gonna need any of that. Cool, down here. Right. I'm thinking. Food's going to be in this fridge. That's what I'm thinking. Yes! Haha! <laughs> Excellent stuff. Oh, this is a good haul. Get rid of the tobacco for now. It's more important that we have food. 
and water, actually. Uh, vegetables. That's fine. Go to the exit. We need a sword to come back here. Um, raw materials, this place is full of raw materials. Well, for now, we hit the jackpot as far well as I'm concerned, because we have some, um... We have some food. Brought the meds and just leave it at that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, we need you to go to bed, my friend. And you, because you're a good cook, can make us some stuff. Uh, oh, we need fuel first. Okay. Why you can't use wood for food, for fuel? But whatever. Okay. Oh, you can. Thanks, game. For right. Okay. Thanks, game, for making for letting me burn my box. That's really nice. Uh, actually, you're not hungry. You're not hungry. You can go to bed. He could do with some bandages, though. So, again, Bruno's our domestic man. He's going to be in the place sorting stuff out. We do need a workbench. Can we upgrade this yet? No. So build his workbench then. The sickness does go away eventually. A bit slightly sick and things like that. So we're getting meds. We're getting we're getting some decent stuff. Uh, this is this is better start than last time, ironically. Ironically, not much better, but uh, it's more balanced. You know, um, um, this game is get in bed, get in bed. No, again with this thing, stop doing that. Are you not getting back in? Get in the fucking bed. Not you. Not you. You go over there. Fuck me. Jesus Christ. Uh. Yeah, make a crowbar. Then we can then we can get into some of these doors. Slightly wounded, tired. Hmm. So, since we've got that, we can open this now. Ah. 
Can you make a shovel? Do we have enough parts for that? No. If only I had some kind of shovel. Uh, we do have meds for him, but it's better we save them for someone who's actually, actually sick. Because um, right now, you know, he's he's ill, but he's not that ill, if you know what I mean. You can get on with it. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to think that was a bug before when Pavel died. Um, didn't seem very fair to me at all. How, he, how he's just climbing a small ladder, gets hit once by a fist, and immediately dies. Hmm. I think the game might have freaked out. But we just didn't need it at that stage. Like, because at that stage we were close to. Yeah. Lad, bet you this is locked. Oh no, good. Nice, more food and other things. Slightly sick. Fine. Slightly like wounded, slightly sick. Um, you are going to scavenge again. You are going to guard. You are going to sleep. Um, airport. I've been there before. Oh, danger. Right, okay. The last plane left a long time ago. Now the airspace over uh, Pogorin is closed for civilian traffic and the army shoots down any offenders. They keep permanent outposts in the control tower. That's not good. So we don't really want to be going to... Because we go to pieces like this, we can steal from them. And, and they can't do anything about it. But it costs us in terms of our morale. Uh, so I think we're going to go to St. Mary's Church. Even though it says caution, I know. But um, as far as I'm concerned... It's, it's a priest. I mean... In the church. So... Might be somebody down there. There's a father there. Do you know what? I, I think we got a good haul already, but I want to see what the disposition of this priest is. So. Welcome. We've been robbed recently, so we have little left. Oh, right, so he's just chilling. That's good. You carry on chilling, father. Let's carry on doing that. My flock sleeps beneath the church. Please do not disturb them. I won't. Oh. Can't get beneath there. Hmm. Yeah, let's trade. What have you got? Um, uh, yeah, I'm not interested.
needs to get some fresh air. On you go. Ah, oh, we can't get through there, son of a bitch. down. Okay, I think we should just leave, to be honest with you. to sneak in, get some stuff while they were messing around. I hope he's not guilty about that. He probably will be, Ronnie. Like, oh, where was me? Nope. Seems like he's very happy. sake. Okay, so Pavel got slightly wounded, so that's okay. That's okay. That's not bad. Um, you need to go make us... We'll go eat that first. You go to bed for now. You go to bed for now. You call you when dinner's ready. stove yet. Yet. We will need one eventually, but we don't need one now. Oh, hang on, no, we need to upgrade this. Let's upgrade that. No, it must be the other way around, okay. To be honest, yeah, we can probably get them up. Oh, oh, you know, come down here. Mate, you need to go do what I told you to do, please. Help, my brother is wounded. You're the first person to open the door. Thank you so much. Quickly, my brother was shot by a sniper. Please help me carry him home or he'll die. There's no time to lose. Okay. I'm not really losing out much for doing that. Because um, we're only going to open this and we can do that any day, really. But while these two are sleeping, may as well end the day.
Uh, you're going to have to guard, and you're going to scavenge. Where are we going to scavenge? We can't go to the military outpost, because it's ridiculous. Uh, quiet house, supermarket, everywhere is dangerous. Everywhere is dangerous. So I'll go to the quiet house because I don't need any of their food or meds. I just need parts. So. Yeah, I don't need any food or meds, so. Um, they can live without parts. I'm going to leave them with all the food and all of their meds. But this is one of the more heartbreaking ones. If, you, if you're in the game. <laughs> need all that. If we get loads of stuff out here, I'll just leave them. I won't even go in. No, not enough. Okay, let's go in. Yeah. This war, we've lived through a war already. Hello. Oh, how did you enter? Are you looking for valuables? I'm afraid we sold everything. Yeah, no, I'm not looking for valuables, mate. Don't worry about it. I want uh, wood. Are you with the bandits? I heard they rob people blind. No, we're not with the bandits. We're not going to rob you. Please don't take my wife's medicine. I'm not going to take any of your medicine. Don't need any of it. In fact, I'd give you medicine if you let me. Don't need any of that. Are you going to kill us? No, oh, I'm not going to kill you. That was tempting, but I'm not going to take it. Come on, game. You said there was loads of parts in here. I'm not taking any food or medicine, don't worry. Um... Oh, for God's sake, game. You said there was parts. This is what I don't like. This is what I do not like. When the game starts playing silly buggers like this and starts saying, oh, yeah, there's parts there, mate. Yeah. Go and have a look. So, no, no, there isn't any parts, is there? There isn't any parts. Let's go see. Are there any down here? Please tell me there are. Nope. And this is going to be locked, isn't it? Yeah. Game, you're a fucking idiot. Ain't you a prick? I mean, I, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Why the why the hell? If your game's this difficult, fine, I'm enjoying it. But tell the fucking truth. Like, like you know what I mean? Like, don't tell me there's something there when there clearly isn't. God knows why Bruno was tired. He was sleeping last night. So thank you, game, for making shit up. That's great. Uh, 
Put the Vandy on. There, I guess. Uh, Bruno went out to, yeah. Bruno went out to help that guy, didn't he? That's why he's tired. What? What the hell do you want? No, oh, you want to trade? I could do with some wood if you got any wood. Right, so you'll give me all that for one antibiotic. I'm going to need to get a bit more for him. Let's go again. So we can actually do some stuff now. Um, we can cook, but I'd rather we make some. Okay, you know. Make some barricades. Still hungry, slightly wounded, tired. Still hungry, tired, okay, that's fine. Almost there. Alright, see you later, man. Cool. Since you did that, you can make yourself a meal. Now Marco is rested. And that'll be the end of our day, I think. Or will it? Could do with a shovel. See if I can make one. I can.
Now we can get to everywhere in the house, which is good. Much easier with my shovel. Good. Fantastic stuff. No, it opens normally, that's good. Uh, grab all that, that's excellent. If we can do the same up here. Try and get to this. There's one downstairs as well. Clear this out the way. We're nearly there though. Oh god. Have to be quick. the end of our day. Right. Um, you sleep. You guard. You scavenge. Right, we need... Uh, yeah, we can't really get in anywhere. Lots of parts, lots of food. Huge amount of meds. Not apart. Caution. Lots of materials, lots of parts, huge amount of weapons. Eluted gas station. Don't we need. Is that place with locked doors or is it a place with saws? Try this. You've got to sneak past certain places, but you know. We can afford it. We can afford to come in here and not get anything, which is what this is the only times I think you should do dangerous ones when you can actually afford um, to get in there without you know. actually need parts more than anything else, so... Oh great, yeah, one wood, thanks, thanks game, that's...
need to get some fresh air, do you? here it's just the wind it is just the wind Noise, eh? What was that? Who knows? It's just your imagination, your truth. Yeah, you're right, you're right. What? You are kidding. What the hell? What the... Oh, do you know what? Let's just go. Let's just go. Come on. What the... F I spent all that time crowbarring the door, and you just reset it again? How does he do that? How does he just meld the door together? What? He's got a fucking melding torch on him, does he? Immediately goes back and just begins... Bloody stupid. Yeah, we got nothing. Great. Thanks, game. That's going to be me for a while. I'm going to. I'll be back on tomorrow. I'm a bit sick of it now. Um, I really do appreciate what the game's trying to do. Just a few closing thoughts. I, I appreciate it. It's just, you know, sometimes it can be a bit of a grind. I, I, I think, you know, I'm a big believer in with games like this. You need to be able to. Um, reward, you know, risk and reward. There's not really any reward in this I'm seeing so far. It's just all, all risk, and it's not really letting you. Um, th th there will be really hard impacting things in this game where you got to do things that are just really bad. But that doesn't mean that you should, you know, you know I mean that, that the difficulty should be up so far that none of us have to ever get to see it. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So, um, we'll carry on. Until all of them die, all of these guys die, and uh, when they do die, you know, we'll consider it game over. Um, we're going to carry on regardless, you know. Um, failure is not failure; it just means I can stop playing. So we're carrying it on from here. The only reason I did it last time is because I honestly think there's no, there are no saves in this game, which I think is really, really bad. It sh there should be saves. Um, yes, it allows people to save scum, maybe, but at the same time. Um, you know, issues like what we had with Pavel before, where he died from being punched in the shoulder. Yeah, you can reload that. You know, I, I would have reloaded that. that. That was a load of bollocks. That was a load of that's ridiculous. Um, especially when, when you know he get he dies in the. I know full well why it's done that. There's some. There's a must be a widget in the engine where if two of your guys at home are on last legs, it'll it'll kill the person who goes out. You know that sort of a thing. Um, but I'm happy with it so far. So, hopefully, uh, you'll return for next time, and we'll uh, we'll get better. So we'll see you then. Hopefully, everyone lives another day. <laughs>